Okay. So, Shattered Throne. <sighs> I have a love-hate relationship with this uh, dungeon. So, the thing about this dungeon is it's very um, lengthy, and it can be hard. Uh, I've attempted this several times, and most of the time, I get to the final boss, and I just throw. I throw so hard, so badly, <laughs> right at the final boss. And I've been trying to come up with a plan to ensure my victory. Now, this victory, uh, I'm probably going to have to use smoke bombs because I'm playing on Hunter. So I don't have the luxury of healing. Um, so I'm doing smoke bombs. Omnioculus, if you know anything about Destiny. Uh, throughout the encounters, I'm going to be changing my loadout quite frequently. Uh, if anyone's ever curious about what I'm running, I can let you guys know. <sighs> but otherwise, yeah. Uh, hopefully I don't throw this time. Hopefully I don't get tilted. Uh, I think I have every weapon I need for this. I believe. So, oh, do I want that on? Yeah, I do want it on. Okay, so this is my loadout. For everyone that's wondering, I'm using Succession with uh, Reconstruction Vorpal, of course. Uh, using Vex for the beginning part with the Reads of Regret. Uh, triple tap Vorpal as well. Well, I mean, it also has Vorpal. Uh, using Omnioculus because why not? You know, why not use Omnioculus when it's there? Speaking of Omnioculus, yeah, Omnioculus, uh, the fact that they're buffing it recently, well, more so the smoke bombs, like they're gonna be buffing it in December. Woo! I don't know if that's a good idea, you know? All right. Shattered Throne. Oh boy! It's my favorite. Uh, if I'm being truthful, this is probably my least favorite dungeon so far. Okay, okay, what's up, Mop? How you doing, girl? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> if I had my camera on, you could see the facial expression I'm giving you. But, you know... I'm happy that you're here. Hope you enjoy victory. Or the process of achieving victory. I just realized something. Hold up. A fundamental thing that I'm lacking. Take and spec. Now that's something you probably haven't heard in a while. Uh, I gotta put it on everything I plan on using. See, I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna snipe this guy right away. Let's go. Very easy clean up. Okay, so that's kind of near the center of the arena, a little bit further away, uh, easy to get to though, oh, maybe not easy, can be kind of a pain. These guys are so slippery, oh my lord, a little bit excessive. So, for anyone that might be wondering, uh, who might, you know, reflect on this stream in the future, or maybe what have you, um, this is the only dungeon I've not done solo flawless, and it's always the very last room that gives me the most amount of trouble, as I had said before. Uh, but I think it's doable, you know? I think it was doable all the way back when this came out. I think it's doable now. Actually, I think it might... It's a little bit easier now, I'd say. 
I'd say it's a little bit easier. But it's also a little bit harder, because back then you could, uh... There are these Taken mods you get through the... Last Witch Raid. And you would be able to get hella... Hella power ammo just from throwing a grenade at an enemy. Um, because these Last Wish Taken mods would work on Taken overall. But uh, not only works in Last Wish. They changed that a while ago. So, it's a little bit... I, I'd say it's a little bit more difficult in that sense. Because, you know, in the boss fight... It, well, one of the issues with this whole dungeon is it, it kind of shares the mentality of older uh, high-end content, uh, specifically raids and dungeons, where uh, you could not uh, place down a raid banner, which, if you know anything about the game, allows you to get power ammo, uh, well, all your ammo, and a super, just instantly. But this doesn't have that, so it's one of those raids, or my bad, one of those dungeons where you really need to look out for your ammo. You really need to be paid, paying attention to that. Infinite Snake, so that's this way. Oh, yeah, that's right, they spawn a captain right here. So this part's completely random if you've never done this before. Uh, you probably have though, if you play Destiny. Uh, but yeah, the way you go through this encounter is a bit random in its element. And the way you determine where to go is based on these symbols that spawn right in the middle. So I got a fish. I got a fish. Uh, where would that fish be? That's a great question. Am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the right way. I'm, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. Truthfully, I just kind of wander around. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Yeah, most of the time with these symbols and whatnot, I, I don't really follow... Like, I, I don't really know exactly where they are. I just kind of wander around. Some of them I've, I've remembered over the span of however long, but... Oh, God. This dude healed! What the hell? Man. What the heck? There we go. Uh, little bird. I believe that's... The, this side. I'm just wandering around like, where am I going? <sighs> Speaking of people that have, might not have uh, done this before, uh, one of my clanmates, uh, he's been playing this game since, I want to say year one? It's currently, it should have been year five by now, but uh, still in the middle of year. Um, he has never done Shattered Throne, or he never did, and then I recently took him through it. And that surprised me, because usually this guy is kind of like, oh yeah, I know this about the raid, I know that about the raid, uh, I know this, I know that. He's never done Shattered Throne. So I went to the wrong place. Uh, but yeah, that took me by surprise. Like, typically when you, uh, you know, when you play a game so often and so much, you, you think that you try to visit everything that's in it, you know? He's the type of person that would play Destiny every day if he could. Well, maybe not every day, but you know, consistently. He'd play it consistently. That just throws me for a loop. Like, I'm trying to think, like, have I ever not done something in this game that other people have? And truthfully, I don't think that's the case. I think I... I think I have. 
Okay, now we got fish swimming in a circle. Oh yeah, so yeah, the dragon is on the end that I was just at. That's that's what's going on. I think I remember that in particular. Okay, is it quicker to just uh, go up here? I don't really go this route, so I'm not sure it would be. I will say one of the things I do like about this dungeon is its uh, verticality. And also it's uh, like just how much is in this dungeon. Uh, there's quite a lot to it. Truthfully. In comparison to the other dungeons, like the other ones, I think it's very straightforward with its approach. But with this, like, there's a bunch of secrets. I mean, uh, what was the name of that? Um, Prophecy. Oh, uh, not Prophecy. Uh, Shad. Uh, I'm really fumbling my words. Pit of Heresy. Uh, the other dungeon, the one that came out after this. Uh, that one has a lot of. Uh, well, maybe not a lot, but you know, it's got like a quest line, and that quest line includes some secrets within Pit. And that's cool. Like, I really like that. But with this dungeon, like, there's a bunch of uh, secret chests, like a bunch more than you'd actually imagine. Uh, some of them kind of give really bad rewards, like a, what was it, like a blue rarity weapon? Not that great. Uh, but. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of, like, invisible platforms, and then you have, like, the hidden quest that goes along with Wish Ender. There's a whole lot in this dungeon. And, uh, not only that, but it's just lengthy. It's a very lengthy... I walked right past it. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I, uh, I did that. Hold on. Yeah, I think I like the stock path better. It's just... It's a little different. And there's Tolan, the boy. A little floating orb. And I really confused myself right there. What am I doing? Nice. Man, this reads is so good. Um, if you're wondering what the roll is, it's triple tap Vorpal. Kind of sad that it's going to be getting nerfed. Uh, they're reducing the power damage by 5%. I, I mean, it's not like too big of a change. It's just, it's going to be noticeable. Okay. But then again, they're buffing Linear Fusion Rifles, so, I mean, it'll still be quite good, I imagine. Alright, Reverie Dawn Grasps, and we're done with the very first encounter. Let's go! That is what I call progress. <laughs> uh, now we're in the descent. Uh, this part can be quite tricky. If you have a good sniper, and maybe even a bow, you can get past it quite easily. Well, maybe not quite easily, but, you know, it, you have a better time with it than if you didn't have one. Glad I remembered to put it on this time. I didn't even shoot at you, man! Let me wait while he pops out. You know what, I'm gonna snipe this guy while I'm waiting. Really? I'm not even... <laughs> I'm not even shooting at you, man! Come on! Well, not yet. You wanna pop out? Okay, he's just gonna keep hiding. Alright, there's a, a little issue that happens with my controller when I'm charging it, where the, uh, the vibration either gets intensified or it gets delayed. Uh, so I'm gonna have to look at that. 
Probably gonna have to turn off my controller once this is done charging. So if you see a uh, controller is turned off notification, you know why that is. Oh, I'm lifting my shots. Oh, what? Hey, yo, buddy! Get away from me. I know there's... Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that's a boss. This guy is, though. Can I aim? There we go. Nice. What the? He, like, teleported while I shot him? So this part, kind of tricky. Um, I'm gonna have to make sure I kill these snipers and these boomers. Okay, or flinch me. Cool. I kind of want to revisit the rest of the dungeons when it comes to solo flawlessing them. I think it'd be fun to do. Okay, we're gonna do this and retract that statement. Sure. Part of me is thinking I should have brought a scout rifle. Because I'm not getting much special. I'm going to go back, see if there's any special. If there isn't, I'll just keep on going. Oh, how convenient. All right. Before I pick that up, though, I'm going to pick up a uh, scavenger. I'm going to put on scavenger for that. And it... <laughs> sure, sure. All right. Give me two bullets? What do I look like, a clown? My friend JB always calls me his mom. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's not gonna hit me, is it? Nah, it's not. Yeah, let's just finish it off like this. There. I might have to put on special finisher. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Hold on, where is this? I'm gonna take off focusing lens for a bit. Put on. Special finisher. Just gonna finish this guy. Okay. Uh, I mean, he did drop special. There. Okay. Give me the ammo, boy! Nice. <sighs> See, that's looking good. That's looking good. Okay. I forgot if they're nerfing Vorpal on special. I feel like it might be staying the same. Damn! You see those headshots? Can I get this one headshot too? I can. And it dropped power off the map. Unfortunate. Okay, should be some ogres in this room. Always fun. This is where it starts to get really iffy. Oh, he's spawning on that side? I believe this area is a little bit random. Do 
Now, did it drop? Mm, yeah, no, not as glimmer. This is what I mean by I think this might be the the hardest dungeon to flawless, just because ammo, just ammo in general. You don't have ammo, you're you're not gonna have a good time. Oh, it did drop special. Nice. How convenient. Okay, it's gonna spawn right here. Just gonna focus this one. You know what? I'm gonna be a little bit risky. This might be the death of me. Wow, the amount of ammo it gave me right there, my lord. It's gonna be one ogre across from here. See, the the reason why I'm very uh, skeptical about this part is because they can push you off with ease. That's why I use power right there, because that's always, always scary. Every time. Okay, this is where I start changing up my loadout a bit. So I'm going to put this on, but then I'm going to put on Crimson. Why am I putting on Crimson? Uh, every time I get a kill, I heal. And with this part, with an encounter where you cannot heal... It's kind of nice to heal, you know, just in case. Now I think about it, I really didn't need to generate special, but I was just being safe. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make them work for it. This is why invisibility is so good. So I'm going to play a little bit risky with this next part. Nice, generated power. Okay. <sighs> For this next part, doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to put it on blinding nades. This will be really convenient for this encounter. Uh, and I'm also swapping smoke bombs. I'm going to be putting on Celestial Nighthawk. Because this boss fight, uh, it's really stressful if you don't end it quick. So I'm going to do everything in my power to ensure that I kill that boss quick. You're basically on a time limit. Uh, so I'm going to let... Also, you want to go up here every time, because if you go down there, there's a bunch of enemies just waiting for you. Okay. So I'm going to try to generate... Um, special. Oh, well, no, sorry. I'm not going to generate special, because I need my super to come back with Celestial. And with this build that I have, my super does not come back frequently. So if I use my super energy to generate special, I'm probably not going to have it for the boss fight. Okay, I got full ammo. I might not even need to use my power right here. So I gotta readjust my chair. Alright, so... Here we go. 
hardest part. Well, maybe not the hardest part, but it, it's difficult for me. So we're going to focus these enemies right here, right away. My main objective is to ensure that I weaken all the wizards. So with this encounter, each one of the wizards drops a buff. But if I it's more of a debuff I'd say. Ooh, that's sniper. Well, I weakened uh, two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab these buffs now. Okay, just about to get my super. So, not only do I have to worry about this timer, but I have to worry about these, this ogre just on my ass 24-7. Okay, nope. Okay. This Vando's kind of being stubborn. I'm going to weaken this guy first. Very close, very close, very close. Okay, please. And that's all I could do. Definitely thought I would have been able to kill the boss with that. So now I'm at a very bad spot. I just gotta refresh. God, the music is so good right here, man! Woo! It really gets you hyped. I can blind this guy, right? There's a sniper. Okay, they're not dead yet. That's good. Ah, this music is so good! It makes it makes me feel like I'm earning it. <laughs> oh my lord. I don't know, maybe that sounds corny, but... Okay, I'm really trying to get this goblin that's just... ...sucking this... ...vandal off with the sniper. Come on. I just have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There we go, there we go. Please get off me. Okay. Kill this one. Okay, I got power. Let's go.
Get this. Now I have some cover, which is very nice. Can I aim? I need to get this sniper out of the way before it... Whew, that one goblin that was just chilling right there. Manually reload that. I got slide shot with this uh, ignition, so that's why I've been sliding a lot. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta go over here. Okay. Let's go. Whoo! Let's go! Alright. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Alright. We're about halfway through. Well, I'd say a little over halfway. Um, when I get to the last part, I'm going to put on Trinity Ghoul. I think that's the game plan. Alright. So... Now we're back to smoke bombs. That part is real stressful. If you have not ever done this uh, dungeon solo, ever, you would know... I mean, if you have ever done it, you would know it's mad, mad stressful. It's incredibly... Whew, um, if you haven't done it, try it once. Try it once. I, I'd say it's one of the most stressful encounters in the game. To do by yourself. I should elaborate that part. To do by yourself. Um, I'm trying to think of what I should do with the final boss and actually killing the enemies. I don't want to use anarchy. I don't think that's the play. For the most part, with this uh, dungeon, I'm just kind of relying on Vex. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> uh, Vex is just overall very good for primary DPS. Might as well do it, right? So why am I choosing Vex for this part in particular? Uh, there are a lot of solar shields. A lot of solar shields. Um, well, maybe not a lot, but there's definitely solar shield enemies that kind of hide, uh, kind of worrisome. So this part, I'm not, I'm not a hundred, uh, I'm not that worried about it. This part's kind of like an intermission in a movie, or a musical, whatever. It's not too bad. However, you definitely can die at this part. That is true. That is very true. Just one captain chilling right there. Now there's two right here.
Oh, easy. I think it's the first time I ever killed all of them with just one grenade. This is actually really solid. Alright, going up. On a Tuesday. Oh. Is he gonna respawn? This game has a tendency where, like, if you knock an enemy off the map, it'll just come back in some way. I guess he didn't. Interesting. For this part, this is why I use smoke bombs. Let's just walk past everything. Throw a grenade right there. Easy. Whoa! <laughs> okay? I, I want to know what happened there. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. <sighs> Give me a heart attack. Random guy just popping up from behind. I'm actually scaring myself right now. Just have the wall until that's done. Okay. Now I got full power, which is so good. So good for this. All right. Um, you know what? While we're here, let's take a little detour. Just grab this chest. I'll show you what I mean by the really bad chest rewards. Like, check this out. Ooh! <laughs> so good! Mmm! Tasty! Alright. This is where I swapped the Trinity Ghoul, I'm thinking. When it comes to breaking, there's a crystal that spawns every once in a while at the uh, the final boss. Um, I, I think this is the perfect time to turn off my controller. Okay. Um, there's a crystal that spawns if you take too long uh, to kill the boss or to damage the boss. Uh, I'm worried about breaking that. Okay. So, I'm gonna toss grenade there. Okay, where are they? Okay, that's good. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Let's go! Let's go! Woo! 
seriously, never again. <laughs> Let's go. Oh man, that's how you do it. Oh man, the amount of times I try to go for that, <laughs> it, it just feeling right at this boss fight. Too many times to count. I'm incredibly glad I grabbed Trinity Ghoul. I don't know if you could tell, but in that encounter, uh, the chain reaction lightning from the bow, um, it just killed those scions. And that's one of the main issues with this encounter, uh, aside from how small it, you know, the whole room is. Uh, it's those scions because they duplicate and duplicate and duplicate. And if you don't take care of them, they just keep spawning and spawning and spawning until the point where uh, you have no room to move. You have absolutely no room to move. And Trinity Ghoul worked perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Um, and Reed's Regret? That was... I, I'm glad I picked this weapon over Threaded Needle. I was thinking like, oh, you know, Threaded Needle. I can maybe use Stasis for this last part. Nah, Threaded Needle. Get out of here. Reed's Regret Adept. That's where it's at. <sighs> so that took me 38 minutes, 24 seconds. I'd say that's a really solid time for just by yourself. 38 minutes, 24 seconds. Wow, half my kills were precision kills, exactly. <laughs> Damn! Oh, I gotta take a screenshot of that. Woo! Let's go! Oh. Wow. For the record, I just want to emphasize this point. I didn't watch any videos on this, right? I didn't watch any videos on strategies on how to overcome each encounter. And I could say the same thing about Pit of Heresy and... Uh, prophecy I don't need videos you know I just I do it I figure out strategies on my own and I do them so I'm glad that I thought of a game plan I stuck with it and it worked out okay and truthfully if, if you're gonna go for it if you're watching at all anyone at all um, just Go through it, think of what might be good for it. Try it a few times. If you fail, you fail. Otherwise, you know, just it's all persistence. So, um, truthfully, I thought that would have taken uh, more attempts. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm very glad that I got that done.